family friendly. Family friendly, oke. Okay. Ada kids, uh, jadi anak-anak pada datang. Oh, ada kids cornernya ya? Nah, jadi uh, bukan kids corner aja. Okay. Jadi kita sembari main, baik. Sembari makan. Oh. Jadi di dalam restoran saya itu ada kayak arcade game, oh. kids activity, wow. uh, atau kids kids event gitu. Oh. Kalau di Amerika itu kayak Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, ya. baik. Nah, namanya kita ini uh, Yoyo Chicks. Yoyo Chicks, oke. Okay. Ya, memang restoran kita dua makanan aja sesimpel. Baik. Yang anak-anak suka. Gitu. Uh, berarti ayam goreng. Ayam, pizza. Oh, oke, okay, ada pizzanya juga. Ya. Nah. Dan kebetulan ini di tahun depan, baik. kita akan expand restoran kita tuh di uh, Malaysia dan di Singapura. Wow. Jadi siap, siap. Uh, gini bu, uh, yeah. target kita itu mau menjadi the most uh, sustainable, okay. uh, family friendly restaurant oh, di Southeast Asia. Oh, nah, baik, itu. Ya, baik. Yeah. Wah, Jadi ini baik. saya lagi mau rubah karena waktu itu kita uh, memang kita banyak ngeprint ya, hmm. dan ada yang ngeprint pakai uh, saya dengar kan yang eco solvent lah ya kan ya, ini kan anak buat yes, saya yang uh, jangan ya, terus ya. ada yang pakai dye uh, pinta dye uh. ada pakai UV jadi masih berantakan nah ini kita karena kita mau mencapai goal tersebut uh. jadi saya butuh sesuatu yang benar-benar sustainable oke okay. ya, benar kita mau going green lah istilahnya gitu bu karena kan kita mau going international yes. ya gitu Bye. jadi saya butuh nih Uh, konsultan yang jago lah misalnya. Wah, benar sekali. Beruntunglah anda datang ke sini ya. Yeah. <laughs> Karena saya juga akan memanggil Ko Jeffrey silakan untuk naik atas panggung. Nah, beliau ini sudah sangat senior lagi yeah. ya <laughs> untuk bisa membantu menjembatani masalah-masalah yang seperti. Ko Haryo hadapi ya atau Pak Haryo hadapi. Nah, saya mau tanya nih Ko Jeffrey dari curhatan beliau. Ini kira-kira ada nggak sih solusinya di sini? Pak, ada nggak orangnya Pak yang bisa dikenalin yang expert gitulah Pak? Saya sudah siapkan Haryo. Siapa nih Pak? Ya, bisa Kevin. Oh, Haryo oh. Kevin. Ini dari mana nih Pak orang? Dari Singapura. Wah, so. jadi saya datangkan ini bisa Kevin dari Singapura. Oke, okay. okay. bisa menjawab. Uh, kebutuhan dari Pak Haryo. Yeah. So I have to, saya mesti ngomong bahasa Inggris dong. Silakan. Nah, nah, jadi nanti ngomong bahasa Inggris. Saya mesti ngomong bahasa Inggris nih ya. Uh, sorry bapak-bapak ibu-ibu, ya. Besar uh, Kevin ini dari Singapura. Ya mungkin nanti Besar uh, Kevin akan bicara dalam bahasa Inggris. Ya, saya yakin bapak ibu pergi lah, ya, yang ada di sini. Ya. Oke, okay. Kevin, nice nice you. Thank you. Uh, I think you do you do, do do I have to explain to you again what's going on no, with me? No, I, I heard some keywords. I heard green, right? right. Jau, and I also heard sustainability. So yes, yeah. exactly what something HP can offer. Oh, you're okay. from HP. Exactly. So my name is Calvin. I, I'm a pre-sales uh, consultant for Southeast Asia. So I'm going to be sharing with you today. Okay. Uh, our solution and how it might be to fulfill your requirements to be one of the most sustainable across Asia. Ah, remember, ah, because a lot of kids, you know, like toddlers, you know, they're coming to, you know, to my restaurant. So it has to be really, really sustainable. Exactly. You know, not just like advertising, you know, because yeah. sometimes, you know, brands just advertise, it's green, 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 but they actually cover up, right? I don't want to do like that, you know? It has to be sustainable because I, my restaurant can be a certain uh, because I, I want to go international, so it has to be certified. Yes, of course. So, so at HP, right? We are we are very into sustainability. So we have all the right certifications. It's right. going to meet your needs. We're going to go through some of those shortly. Okay. But you know, uh, I heard from my employees, right? The most sustainable right now, that's what I heard, and it's quite reasonable price when I'm, because you know, I have a budget, right? 
to do this for a lot of renovation and especially if I want to do in Singapore or in Malaysia, I have a certain budget. Yep. I heard UV is the more sustainable right now. Is that correct? So of course everyone is jumping on the bandwagon to be green, right? So FYI, we were one of the earliest in terms of inject printing to introduce the water-based pigment inks. Right, so with that legacy in mind, right, we're going to go through some of the key differences where we differentiate ourselves with what you claim the UV are talking about. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're using what 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 ink again? Yes. So we're using a what we call the HP latex inks, right? So but I heard that's expensive, bro. Because everything has a price, right? Nothing comes for cheap. But with the inks, it's going to bring you more value, right? and allow you to meet your requirements when it comes to sustainability. Okay, can you explain more detail regarding sure, the, sure, sure, sure. your ink, your technology, maybe you know, the application that you can do? Can you explain to me more detail? Good. So let's throw on the slides. All right. Good. So we're going, to, we're going green with HP Latex today. Right. So I'm sure most of you you know, I heard about HP Latex, right? It's fairly low profile, I would say, right? It's not mainstream. But in case you're wondering, right, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about what HP Latex is all about, right? So when I say water based ink, what does it actually mean, right? So on the screen, you will see a droplet of ink, right? This is how the ink looks like, the composition. So in every drop of ink, consists of up to 65% water. So back to your question, Mario. Yes. For our inks, right, we are water-based, right, so we do not emit any smell, right, we are odorless. Okay. And of odorless. course, back to your question, you want to, back to your, your requirement, you want to create the most sustainable environment for family and for kids, we also do not have any toxins in the inks, but we do not have any hazard labels, so that's going to give you assurance your customers to keep coming back because of the safe environment you provide for them. Hey, uh, sorry, uh, maybe I'm not really good in this technology, right? Yep. When you say water, right, there's a the water in there. Meaning, uh, it's not water resistant that when you wipe it, you know, with water, because it's water, right? How, how come it's, is it water resistant? Yes, of course. So, apart from, okay, the ink consists of maybe water, right, that's good, right? So it's part of our technology. Right, rather than using solvent, right. like the carrier of the ink pigments, we use water. Right. Okay. So that's that why is. we call it a water, water-based pigment ink. So right. it's a carrier. Exactly. So oh. it carries and suspends the pigment. So rather than relying on the toxic solvents, right, we are using water instead. So it's. So where where the water goes after that? Good question. So the printer goes through some heating and the curing process. So that's where the water gets evaporated okay. right, and, and moved, leaving only the color pigments on the surface of the material to give you a very nice, beautiful print in your restaurant potential. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, so these are some advantages right, of how the inks may bring value to your restaurant chain in future. So the way I see, uh, all doorless is basically no smell. That's really right. good because it's going to be, I'm going to install it and you know, in the closed room, and especially sometimes it's really a uh, uh, small room, so no hazard labels, no toxic contents, nickel free, fire retardant. Can you explain about fire retardant? Yeah. Yeah. So as opposed to some other inks out there, right? I'm not sure if you read the label on your ink, for example the UV, right? Chances are you will see a combustible icon there, right? okay. which means the ink expose it to fire, right, it's gonna, you know, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna burn up, right. So, so that's what makes us different. We are fire oh, retardant. Okay. So in case there is a fire. Jadi, gak gampang nyulut api, misalkan ada kebakaran, jadi gak nyamber gitu. Oh, it's not like, I, I see, I see what you're saying. Right? Exactly. So in case of a fire, I see. when accidents happen, you are rest assured, there will not be any problem of the prints burning up, right? Because we are fire retardant, at least in terms of things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 
So apart from this, right, now you have a little bit of background. What is water-based treatment ink? Right, what is HP latex inks? So where do we differentiate ourselves? And what does HP latex bring on the table? Right. So as a print, as a printing company, right, it doesn't it, it, it helps your environment, right? It also helps the client like Mario, but it also helps the future, the environment. So we have all the necessary certifications that you see on the screen, right? Of course, we mentioned earlier we do not have smell, right? We do not, uh, we are not combustible, so that's going to bring, uh, bring you less fire hazards, right? And also, we do not have any harmful labels on the packaging of the inks, right? So that's a game changer when it comes to being green, right? So in terms of certifications. Right, we are up with Eco Logo, right? UL Eco Logo, a very internationally known uh, association, right? And we are also bring up Gold Certified, so that's going to give you even more confidence, right? To have the prints displayed in your restaurants, and of course, one thing that makes us truly unique, you see on the screen, a here, right? So we are also toy safe, right? So what does toy safe mean? Toy safe? You mean, so let's say if you print on the, like a toy, right? Yep. So let's say one year old kid, you know, baby, they just, you know, chew it. Or lick it. it. Uh, lick it. Is yep. it okay? Exactly. So that's what the certification is about, right? So being toy safe basically means if the kids, right, if they lick it by accident, right, if, they, if they put it into their mouth, right, they are safe from any uh, toxic Oh, or toxins released from the things. Yeah, because my restaurant, a lot of kids, you know, exactly. sometimes you don't know we can control, yeah, right? Exactly. Sometimes they leak so, it. So you make sure you want to create, it, right? Yeah, you want to create a, a, a area for the kids to play. Yeah. So this is going to be a very important, uh, important selling factor oh. for you to attract your crowd. Okay. Yeah. So also, lastly, of course, uh, HP has a very has been a very strong advocate of sustainability. Right. We also introduced a lot of. Uh, uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, programs, right? In tune of sustainability, our cartridges are also recyclable, right? Also, parts of the printer are using recycled plastic. Yeah, uh, I understand this uh, because yep. in Indonesia, a lot of people don't care about sustainable. Uh, they just have their ego, but they don't care about their kids, grandkids. You know, what's going on? Next? After exactly. the right? Exactly. We just care about ourselves. Right. Got cheap, cheap, cheap. But you know, yeah. Sometimes we have to care about our futures. You know. Exactly. Even That's though why we already gone later on, right? Exactly. So HP has the foresight. I would say, right. So we started this. But we are still strongly advocating this for the future. Okay. So uh, I heard you've been using solvent before. I heard you've been using UV before. But do you know some of the key differences? I don't know. Good. That's why. That's why I want to ask you. I'm glad to say that. Uh. So, where do we differ? Right. So I mentioned earlier. Right. In terms of uh, certifications, of course, we see very uh, large differences. Right. We, we are we are certified with the UL Eco logo in the middle, which is not present in the Eco Solver or the UV. Right. Mm. Uh, also, right. We do not contain any HAP. Right. Hazardous uh, organic compounds, right? And, uh, sorry, hazardous air pollutants, right? From our inks, and in the middle for eco solvent, right? Up to 65, oh, sorry, between 65 to 80 percent consists of solvent. So that's where the carrier make a difference. So I mentioned earlier, water is the main carrier for HP. Solvent is the main carrier for the eco solvent and solvent. I think here the, the one that I want to ask you. Sure. The green card things. If you know, soft, eco solvent technology has a green card. UV has a green card. They claim it's green. How come? And then you also have green, but I see you have eco logo. So what's the difference eh, exactly. between green card and eco logo? Yeah. So this green card is always causing a confusion, right? Having a green card go. Uh, it's also available on certain brands. I'm not going to name names, right? But if you read clearly right, in, within the criteria of Mega Gold, we are the only one, a couple of brands along with us, that are certified to have the full room decorated with HP latex prints okay. versus 
some of the other competitor that can be only properly certified a panel within the room. So that's the main difference which people are not aware. Exactly like what you mentioned. That's confusing everybody. Yeah, uh, because we see green. Oh, so it's green already. Tak masalah ya. Kalau green, green. Tapi hati-hati loh. Bukan hanya green doang ternyata. Jadi ada lagi. Kalau green itu ya oke okay, taruh di dalam. Tapi nggak bisa untuk seluruh ruangan. Berarti nggak green juga dong. Bohong dong deh mereka ya. So they they a little bit cover up their lie. A little bit green. Yeah, right? green so area. A little bit confused, right? So I'm here exactly to clarify that with you. Okay, right. good, to know, course, good to know. Lastly, right, if you look at the ink label, chances are you will see something like this, right, which basically means the inks are hazardous, right? It may cause fertility issues. Wow, berarti mesti hati-hati nih semua nih ya. Jangan cuma kita ngelihat logo green, tapi kita ketipu gitu kan. Jadi mesti hati-hati juga ya. Okay, we need to be careful this time. Exactly. Right. So. We also see a lot more reactive reactions. Like the inks are more reactive to the material. For example, the eco solvent and the solvent. I'm gonna throw a video right now to show you, so you can understand a little bit more how this thing actually works behind the scenes. Oh, jadi ini perbandingan latex ink, eco solvent ink sama mid solvent ink. Wah, dia tetesin ya. Oke. Okay. Waduh. Bisa bolong begitu ya? Pak Jepri, kok begitu Pak? Kenapa bisa bolong gitu Pak? Bahaya dong Pak. Oh, keras ya? Keras. Keras ya Pak ya? Itu Eko Sofen juga bisa bolong tuh. Kalau kena tangan kita bisa bolong dong Pak. Ya, Gimana tuh Pak? Makanya teknologi sekarang ini ya bergeser ke teknologi uh, Espilatek. Ya. Oh, Oke. Okay. Karena Espilatek ini adalah covid Ya, dan juga memang tidak berbahaya ya, untuk kesehatan beda dengan uh, kita sober maupun yang sober oh bahaya juga ya berarti itu beracun sekali ya sangat keras ya so what you think about the video bahaya dangerous bro exactly yeah. so that's what for you as a print buyer you receive the print Well, we don't, going, well, actually, we don't really care, but you know, I mean, you know, I'm not that kind of person that, you know, we don't care about the workers that doing, you know, maybe when they refill, they, the, 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 the ink spill into their hands, it's quite dangerous, actually. Yeah. 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 So that's a little bit of introduction, but of comparisons with the inks out there, right? Thanks. So we're going to talk about a little bit about application, how the HP Latex solutions can satisfy your needs when it comes to fulfilling applications like a restaurant decor, right? So one example, right? This is a restaurant in the US. So rather than having a painted wall, which may be a little bit dull, you can dress it up like this to give it more value, more class, a different look and feel. So this is going to bring uh, a similar kind of vibes to your potential, uh, to your restaurant's potential. Okay. So imagine if it's a kids' corner, but you can dress it up with some kids, uh, with some cartoon characters. That's going to attract the attention of those kids. They're going to keep coming back. Want to bring, uh, uh, asking mommy to bring me down for some fries, for some burgers. Great for a business owner like yourself. So you can print on the wallpaper, and then what else? I mean, any other thing that you can print, you know, uh, like like a rigid material, you know. Exactly. Very good question. So the ink is very flexible, flexible in the sense that it's very versatile. You can print on a lot of material out there, right? So this is just one of the example, like the printing on wallpaper, right? Just to show 
a little bit more examples how wallpaper can change the look and feel of restaurants and bars. Apart from that, also, for example, if you want to change the look and feel of your room, or a hotel room, or your home, uh, not only you can print on the wallpaper, you can also print on the upholstery, for example, your wardrobe, if you want to print on your formica, that is also a possibility. Hey bro, uh, you know I print on you know my the table for the kids. Yeah. Also, it's printable as well. Actually. Yep. Can you print on that table? You know, by like wood or plastic, whatever it is. Yes, of course. Do you have any samples for me to see? Then about the quality, yeah. Oh, apa ibu ibu inilah yang disampaikan oleh bisa kerja sama bisa Aryo mengenai SP Latex Solution. Very good question that you ask. So this is a sample. I'm going to pass this around shortly. So one of the value that HP Latex can bring to you, it's how natural the finishing oh, is. You still right. see the grain. Exactly. Urat-urat kayu ini masih kelihatan ya. Wow. Wah, coba nih, bapak-bapak, ibu-ibu lihat. Any other samples that you want to show me? Of course. Right. So other than that. If you are in a restaurant, you want to print a menu, you could also try printing on aluminium, aluminium composite. Oh, also you see the grain of the aluminium. The texture aluminium is still visible. Wow. Yeah, that's what I want to But of course, one of my favorite will be painting on something that resembles like a mirror. Oh, mirror! So this is always a challenge on other technology, right? Because the high glossiness and the reflectivity of the mirror oh. may potentially give you problems with the paintings. Wow, I can see handsome people here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. So oh, in terms yeah. of versatility. These are all printed directly. So you. this, I think if using like other technology yeah. is gonna be a really yeah. challenge because they have lights, right? Yeah. Usually with the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bagus sekali. Bagus. Kalau Bapak Ibu mau lihat yang dan silakan lihat Right. So this is an example of a office space. Not only are the walls printed, the cupboards are also printed. You can also throw in some floor stickers to decorate. So a single room can be printed on different materials, but the same machine. That's really amazing. Hmm. Right. So another video we want to talk about. Right. So we are we are on the topic of green. So a very sensitive place. Right. It's actually the hospitals. So if you're printing on a technology that has odor, that has smell, that is tox that has toxins, yeah, definitely you don't want them in the hospital. Right. So we're gonna roll a video of okay. a hospital in France that has changed the decor using HP latex prints. Print dari Espiratik ini tidak berbahaya, ya, Bogrin. Uh, ini ada pengalaman dari saya. Itu tahun 2010 ada satu AP di Go and Go di Ramat Kawati. Ya, itu di branding kayak Espiratik, baik dindingnya, ya, uh, metalnya, ya, semua itu jangan di Espiratik. Ya, sampai hari ini sudah 12 tahun, itu tidak mudah dan masih uh, kelihatan berat. Ya, itu informasi yang bisa saya sampaikan. Latex itu luar biasa sekali. Dan kebetulan memang ya mungkin uh, tadi pagi uh, ada yang mendengar ataupun tidak menghadiri acara saya. Ya, Espiratek ini ya, itu uh, launching di Indonesia itu tahun 2010 ya dan sampai hari ini sudah bela, sudah 12 tahun. Ya, dan Espiratek ini hampir semua customer pemain digital printing besar ya karena sudah menggunakan uh, mesin Espiratek. Ya sekarang Espiratek ini sudah generasi Uh, usia dari generasi ke-6 ya kalau untuk yang low volume nah yang disampaikan ini oleh Pak Hario dan Mr. Kevin 
pilihan Espiratec uh, uh, Hybrid ya dia bisa roll to roll dan dia bisa flat pad ya namanya R2000 ya dan juga kalau ini kalau yang flat pakai R2000 tapi kalau yang roll to roll dia pakai SP yang 3.2 itu nah, sekarang ini sudah yang mana tipe ini terus betul ya nah itu informasi yang bisa saya sampaikan kepada bapak ibu mengenai Espiratec ya. Jadi uh, saya harapkan sih nanti ada yang bisa, ada yang bertanya silakan ya uh, nanti Pak Hari bisa uh, jawab ya. Oh jadi ini video di rumah sakit ya. Jadi di rumah sakit itu banyak oh di MRI di ruangan MRI dia install stickers. MRI. Wah, wow. untuk di rumah sakit aja nggak ada masalah. Karena kan rumah sakit ini benar-benar harus certified ya. Gak bisa boleh sembarangan ada racun ataupun yang benar-benar nggak boleh benar-benar uh, cuman tulisannya aja lah misalnya atau logonya doang print. Tapi benar-benar dites sama mereka bahwa ini benar-benar tidak beracun. Ini nggak beracunnya bukan cuma hari ini loh Mario. Oh selama 12 tahun, <tuh> ya. 12 tahun nggak beracun. Dan mulai launching di Indonesia sampai hari ini itu memang uh, teknologi uh, espiratif atau kita latek ini sebenarnya memang tidak beracun. Berarti nanti saya sekali ini rombak semua restoran saya ntar 12 tahun lagi baru ganti. Kuat sekali memang. Kuat ya. Luar biasa. Lebih efisien. Gak perlu setiap tahun ganti Ya, cuman ya desain saya mesti ganti lah ya, Kalau gak bosen lah Ganti desain aja 5 tahun, 6 tahun kita ganti ya. lah 